Okay. Well, you heard it. Stand by. That is the law giving whatever you want to come on. I'm standing by. Welcome to the second discussion segment. It's all about the build up to a do 2020. The federation of political parties are prepared. I do not have been hearing about so many things. But is it going to be a one horse race? Two horse race? How many horses are involved in this race? We're going to talk about horses political party. We'll be here in the studio to do analysis to this discussion. Started from my extreme left. I have a uh, uh, Sunni Habiz. Hope I've got that name correctly, sir. Sunni. Sunni Habiz. Abdul Habiz. Abdul Habiz. Yeah, that is an Islamic scholar. So welcome to the show. I appreciate your coming. So everybody you. close to him is James Edoy a political analyst. Welcome to the show. Thank you, my brother. All oh, right. And of course, uh, a, a vibrant youth, Theodore Irabo, political activist, political analyst. Welcome to the show. I'm not a political analyst. I'm the PDP state youth leader. Okay, state. PDP state youth leader at those states. Well, I, I, I like the way you say this is me. And of course, I have Harrison Ezeko, an APC councillor. Hope that is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Now, like it or not, Believe it or not, events have been unfolding to show how prepared a Dolites, someone said it's a do people, are getting set for 2020 elections. But when you talk about political parties, apart from the trouble, so to speak, and the misunderstanding, so to speak, ravaging the ruling party, it's like no other party seems to be coming up or pushing for that position. The governorship position come 2020. Harrison, I want to start off from you. How do you feel about the term for political parties? Well, uh, you see, for now, I think uh, uh, ANEC is the body that has the responsibility to conduct an election. And as we speak, ANEC have not uh, given any guidelines on election for 2019. So, uh, They've, they've not informed the party when they are going to do the election. They've not uh, make any public statement on that. But we know that the election will come up next year. And uh, prior to that election, we understand that uh, different political parties need to begin to see how they can uh, work out with themselves and who be the flag bearer of the party. Uh, so, not until I next finally declare the time when they got the guideline for the election, I think the momentum will not actually be high. But that does not to say that uh, the party of Progressive Congress are not uh, preparing. The party is there, the state's working committee, they are, on their, putting their matrix in place. When the time comes, once the guideline is out, and I think that uh, the party is fully prepared to do the needful, conduct the primaries, the, uh, for their about the general election, and the uh, we hope to see that uh, things work for for well for the party. And of course, you are aware that uh, the incumbent governor too is also going to be a candidate for that uh, uh, election. Uh, so therefore, we believe that uh, based on his performance, and uh, second term is inevitable. Performance is uh, all right. We are we are not here to talk campaign. We are to talk to that to level. level yet. Now. Um, uh, Feathers, do you share the same view with him or you differ totally and completely from his own opinion? I think on his first take, which, uh, well, let me go back to your question, I think that is a one horse race. That, that's totally wrong. There is no way you can wave out the strength of the PDP in the state. states. We have three Senate seats and the PDP is presently occupying two, while the ruling party would produce a governor is occupying one. So if you are saying that it seems that it's a one horse race, that's totally uh, not true. No, that was a question. I said one horse, two horses. No, 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 when you were asking, it yeah. says that there is nothing happening. You can't say there is nothing happening. PDP has shown that PDP is a do and a do is PDP. We have been able to muzzle our strength. Even when we don't have the state governor, but you know PDP is everywhere in a do state. And also, like what he said, that. Uh, I want to agree with him. The timetable is not out yet. I like I've not been the best for us to start campaigning. You can't even campaign. But everybody is doing their homework. Our congresses are coming. And we've been hearing so many stories on social media that uh, 
that the present schools tenure on a lapse in September, which is not true. May yeah, I imagine uh, March 14, 2016? Yes. Which means by 2020, March 16, that's when this school tenure will elapse. So those notes, I, I want to beg that you people should wave it up, that that is not true. PDP is ready, Congress is will go on and the party is ready to wrestle the soul of Edo State from the APC. Okay. I will believe we are going to be victorious this time. All right. Because uh, of the crisis uh, uh, that we are uh, uh, Hold on, hold party. on. We will get to that. <laughs> because the odds of all the other is there. We must have. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. James, Honorable Sir, how do you feel about this? Well, uh, thank you, my brother. Uh, I want to correct one uh, impression from my brother from the PDP that the uh, APC. It's not divided against itself. You know, in Africa, the ruling party will always have this eternal struggle. Despite PDP that is in opposition, I am very much aware they have a lot of crisis more than APC. That is not true. That is not true. Yeah, but please do not interject. You have no, to, no, to react. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am very much yeah. aware that they have a lot of crisis more than uh, PDP. It just affirmed that uh, some people are saying the tenor elapsed in September, he is saying it's, it's March. Uh, that is an uh, indication that they, they have their own problem, despite they are not in, uh, in government. So I believe um, INEC has not given out the uh, guideline for this uh, election. And both parties are doing, putting things in place. And aspirants are also coming up. For, for record, I, I am aware that the APC have more than one uh, aspirant. And in PDP, they have more than one aspirant. But these are two parties. In, in Edo, every other party, uh, uh, I, I see them as a uh, non serious party. Uh, that is our opinion. Uh, uh, that, that's my opinion. Yeah. But I know 2020 election, the battle be between PDP and APC. All right. I'll come back to you. Al Haji, can I call you that? Hafiz, oh, what's your own opinion? Hafiz is okay. Yeah, about this. Mm. Well, uh, I think the key players or the internal people of the parties have expressed uh, themselves on what's obtaining. And, uh, we are in Nigeria, and we know the umpire, really, which is the INEC. So they are the ones that are telling us where we are, where we are going. But from the angle of uh, how it's feeling in the atmosphere presently regarding the coming election. You know, the direction of our, the, the attention of INEC presently, I think, is in Kogi and uh, Bayosa. So that can possibly be the reason why they have not really um, uh, deemed it uh, necessary to begin to ask us to uh, do anything. But besides, I can read headlines and I see what uh, parties are, are doing. Like I have seen where the uh, PDP are saying, uh, if you have um, a governor decamping to PDP, there is no automatic uh, ticket. So meaning they, they have a stand. Then equally that um, there is nothing like zoning um, uh, when it comes to the chairmanship of the party or the, even the, um, uh, the governorship uh, uh, candidation of uh, pe persons. It's not going to be zoning. So meaning, uh, work is on. So people are formulating ideas on what they think is going to bring uh, uh, the best for them. So and we can only say that uh, we hope there's going to be high level of uh, self-discipline in pushing for whatever we are going to be pushing for. Because the we, we want to uh, pray against an atmosphere of uh, a mutual uh, rancor and malicious expressions uh, discrediting one another because of uh, the, uh, the personal objective or interest that we have. Yeah, this competition has come and it must come. So it's a matter of you play an excellent game. Don't go to the extent of wanting to do it, uh, uh, do it or die. 
Christ. No, he shouldn't be do or die. He be do or die. Yeah. Now, from what he rightly said, since the crisis right now rocking uh, the two major political parties in Edo State, there's no gain saying about that. APC have their own fair share. PDP also is having their own fair share. Other political parties like uh, politicians that are beginning to wake up, or maybe they are not waking up. Nobody knows about that. Let's focus on these two giants right now, so to speak, with a crisis in your party. Do you think they have what it takes to retain the Dennis of Sadebe Avenue? Well, uh, let me just say this, that uh, first of all, uh, the political class are less than 5% of the total population in the state. So it is not the politician that determines who become the governor of the state. It's been determined by the public, by the people, the voters, the electorate. So <coughs> those who play politics or the non conventional political politicians like us are just few. The entire party put together is then up to 5% of the uh, electoral the voters in the state. Now, well, it's no longer in news that uh, there are issues within the party. It's expected <clears throat> because when you have a home, you have a government that came with a very different agenda. Somebody who believed that wastage can no longer be in government, a man who believed that government money is not to be distributed to private hands, a man who believes you are in government, you will not get your salary. Any other money that is not backed by law, that you cannot justify, those leakages have been blocked. Today, in those states, you are aware that POS are being used to collect revenue. It's no longer before that when you get to local government, as well as the castle and rural donor, the revenue within our castle become Hosanna, Hosanna, food for, for the for, for the state. Normally, when you get there before now, they give their revenue, you don't even bother about the salary, that's what you use to do whatever you are doing. But today, you are only restricted to your salary. You don't even see those money. And the man has said government money should be used better than having people and build infrastructure for the states. And you understand that the normal politician, the conventional politician, just believe that this is not the way it's supposed to be. We need that. We are supposed to be selling all those kind of stuff. And because of that, some people are not happy about it. And this issue of when the EPM came up, the People's Movement and all that. They are all members of the party. I just want to appeal to them that they must work under the leadership of the government. The government is the leader of the party in the state. And the directive of the leader of the party of the state, every other person needs to key in. We cannot continue to do things the same way and we expect a different result. My joy is that it is APC, APC. It is, they are not fighting that the government did not work. They are not fighting that the governor is over They are angry that things, there is a shift from the way it used to be. And it cut across everybody. So, and the public is happy. Because today, nobody will stand the ring road and block the entire road and begin to load and tell you heaven will not fall. All right. Nobody will, 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 will restrict other persons from doing what they are supposed to do. I'll come back to you, and Harris. I think not, not even work. All right. So, I will come back to you because okay. there are so many questions also emanating from that angle. Now, Theodos, because I want to, like, you know, ask questions pertaining to parties. It seems as if all is not well also in the PDP from uh, uh, the, the, the last meeting, from the new regulation, from the accusations, the counter-accusation. All you do is talk, 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 no action and all that. Zoning and no zoning. Are they really prepared? to give that stiff fight to reclaim the Dennis of Sadebe Avenue. By the grace of God, come 2020, the PDP will be in Dennis of Sadebe Avenue. And let me address the issue of crisis or no crisis. PDP is united. There is no fashion. There is no other group name. Like he said, there are no people movement in the APC. There is nothing like that in PDP. What we wanted was just some persons on social media that wanted to create the same thing that they are saying on the ruling uh, rule party. The truth of the matter is that PDP is united. We have one ESCO. We, want, we have one leadership under the uh, chief than no COB. So there is nothing like crisis. And the state does not, even the state does not con uh, conduct uh, congresses. It's a national. If there was anything, there was external inspiration, the national would tell us that, okay, so, so they were facing date for the, for the Congress. Last Sunday, we were, in the house of one of our leader, Chief Loki Benedion, where issues 
and how we will take back Edo State was discussed. Not like Congress, you saw all the leaders from Edo North, Edo Central, Edo, Edo South coming together to brainstorm on how we will take so over. What you say Osama. right now, there are no disgruntled, Nothing no such. angry, no dissatisfied elements in the PDP. Are you sure about that? Nothing at all, because it's under one leadership. Or do you have any other thing that you want to tell us? Do you have any other parallel school? Is there any parallel school? I'm just asking the question. Body that is fighting? All right. The answer is no. What people were agitating what was that? Okay, let's do congresses before the handover date of the ESCO. Right. So that we can, in case there is any fallout, we we'll know how to handle it. Okay. But it is a constitutional thing. It's four years. We won't tell Basaki, let's do election today because we don't want Edo to be in crisis in. Uh, 2020. There is time frame. The party has uh, laws. We have regulation that governs the party, and that's what we are working on. Okay, I'll come back to you, Thaddeus. Honorable James, why do we are yet talking? You were smiling. <laughs> Harrison was talking, you smiled. Thaddeus spoke also, you smiled. Could you just give expression to what is in your heart right now? Yes, my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, let me start from the Honorable. Uh, uh, why was analyzing his own view? He said the, the politicians are five percent or less than five percent is the masses that that vote and, and, and up. That is correct. But in Nigeria, without your party throwing you up, the masses will never have you to vote for. So the party leadership for the party uh, 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 people are important. Because in Nigeria, as far as I'm concerned, we don't have independent candidacy uh, uh, for now. So before you get to the masses in the, in the election, the party must throw you up. That is the area that most people must advise uh, like uh, our governor about also uh, uh, in that uh, respect. Is, is the leader of the party, let it call those that agree everybody and settle the issues. Some of them may, may not be informed about his program and, and all. Because the idea that the masses is uh, loving me, they vote for me. But without the party training up, I think uh, is a problem. And if again, uh, uh, as in we suspend or just uh, uh, crash these people, these are the people from the party, you know, they have vote and they have followers. In the real election, uh, uh, can you see the effect on that? I will stop at that. For the PDP, you see that. My brother is a good party man. He's polishing and giving the impression that it's all is with the party. I can describe DP today as beautiful calabash, a blue calabash. The, the calabash is beautiful, but it's also was set and broken. If you look at it very well. In my local government, I know what was happening in PDP. It's no way. So what is that, please? And uh, I, I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming. Why you were talking, he did not interject. Yes, I'm, I'm coming. Yeah. In no, he's not there. He okay, never okay, made the party in the room, but no, 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 okay, no, let, let, let him finish. He has a floor now. In NPC, there's no parallel ESCO. We have one state chairman, we have one state uh, chairman, one state ESCO, in the government is one one. People are just having a pressure group, which is also in PDPA. You have a, a, a such pressure group. Which of them? Mm -hmm. We have one, and they uh, people. This third is, third third people. Third us, third us. this is where I put my foot no, down. No, no, we don't. No, we don't, we don't, we don't hold on, hold on. You are going to react to what okay. he has talked about, okay? You have your own time to talk. Please continue, James. Yes. Uh, so they have their own uh, 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 crisis uh, everywhere, and their crisis is more massive than uh, uh, than uh, APC. <laughs> so uh, the idea of them getting to the Avenue Avenue 2020, the percentage is less than 30 percent for an organ. Now, even in the national belief in zoning, why in their states uh, here yeah, they are saying no zoning? That is an indication of a crisis, a very big one, a crisis. And if you understand the political uh, theory in in Edo State, if AP, APC one it is zoned to Edo South for, uh, uh, for this other tenor, and PDP is now going to Edo non Edo Central, you know what that uh, uh, means. So, as in, it is a pointer to the fact that this crisis where they come up with no, uh, no zoning uh, in their party. But I will not get more on their party, but it's their, it's their problem. But, but I know that. Their problem now is how to survive the next Congress. Mm. Uh, yes, right. because their hope was that the executive governor of those states 
when they come to their party. You don't have proof of that. You don't have proof of that. Judge us, don't interject. Uh, Honorable James, I, I want to really pause you there because you you have more time to throw more light okay. in your own opinions, okay? But for that statement, you cannot substantiate okay. it. So in the media, we don't do that. Now, let me come to you, Harvey. No problem. You've heard three of them, those coconut led. Uh, two parties, great giants, they're saying that one said there's no more, one said there's no problem. Why? James talked about zoning, no zoning. That is a huge sign of conflict. What can you really bring out of all this? Well, I, I think it's very, very normal for us to have this kind of um, uh, uh, opinions, negative as well as positive opinions about uh, uh, our party and then our opponent. So the essence of it is it's, it's the competition. But it's important to really uh, emphasize that let what is being said be what it is. Yeah, you don't, it's, it's not good for our polity that we just create uh, some kind of uh, information in order to run down the other person. Walk. Just walk. Walk, you are in a race to grab the, you know, the cup. So if you do your walk well, the, the, the likelihood is that you are going to grab it. But if you don't do the walk, you know the, the, the idea of fighting that instead of busy yourself trying to walk on yourself, you are busy looking for the death in the eyes of your, of your opponent. Meanwhile, your opponent is, is walking. So when the D-Day is going to come, you know, the, there is this perception in Nigeria that whether the masses vote or not, the one who is going to be the leader is going to be, they have their way of doing it, that he will definitely emerge as the leader. Yes, we have uh, card readers. We have a lot of um, uh, apparently convincing um, 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 structure that nobody can manipulate anything. But there is still this great um, uh, um, uh, impression with people that people are manipulating something. And if uh, the, the players in this game are relying on these powers to manipulate what is, what is there, we are yet to get where we say we are going. We are just deceiving ourselves. We want our society to be better for it. But you can't get there with this kind of deception, cheating, wronging yourself, oppression and, I mean, intimidation. No. You walk. Okay, my brother there I made the, the, the point that uh, the governor is walking. A lot of things are you know, are being put straight. I like the idea of uh, the, you know, the uh, blockage of, you know, money, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, money going to private hands. But people are still crying, especially when it comes to the issue of roads. Terrible. Hardly that you can assess any, I mean, communities that are supposed to be the pride of the state are not accessible. The question continues to rise that yes, we are blocking the holes. What's the money being used for? All right. I'll pursue that. Thank you. I'll come back to you to throw more light on that question you just asked. What's the money being used for? Now back to you, Harrison. You talked about pressure groups, dissatisfied persons, and your advisor we should be brought together to the round table because talking about the race to then it's Osadabe Avenue come 2020. But the suspension of some local government chairman from your party, is that not going to have a negative effect? What I, the issue of, uh, let me first of all, start by where, from where it stopped that, mm. the, what is the money being used for? You see, we must try to assess government from a CCM angle. We know where Adam Sandi Oshumule stopped. He did work for the state. And he told us that he was going to bring a man 
that will do more than him. And he brought in a technocrat, the man, Mr. Godwin Oasaki. And all of us that we must support, and we gave our support. And the man took over from there. By November 12th, Ambassador will be three years in government. And I can sit here and begin to explain. If you go to the educational sector today in Edo State, teachers can no longer be in urban market. When the month end, they will collect salary. <coughs> teachers can no longer be in the market. When month end and get salary, you must go to the classroom. From a glass, from a body, from the office, you can know if teacher is in the classroom or is not there. If you enter, you log in. They know that you are already there. If you close, you log in. If you are teaching, you log in. They know that you are already teaching. They know what you are doing. They are watching the screen. These are innovations. These are things that have not been seen before. That is a progress. And I want to tell you, just look around within Benin. As a speaker, a Kewa Road is being dualized. So after Barak, the job is ongoing. As I speak today, these governments have opened up another city between Oko, Iriri, and Ogba down to Sakle Road. Okay. It is motorable and the road is there. All right, now that's People where the money is. Okay, that's where the so money is. All into. this money yeah. are being pushed into infrastructure. And we also are aware mm. that this government are not borrowed. You are so aware this government is also paying. And uh, debt because government is continuing from right. source, right. and yeah. yet we we see personally as a wind view. Okay, and yet you don't have issues compared to other states mm. in Nigeria mm. who are only salary of two years, eight months, seven months. And those state is not like that. All right, that is prudence. All right, that is a man who understand what he's doing and he want to do it. Okay. Like I said when I started, is that mm. you see the little crisis, the crisis within the party will be resolved. Everybody's going to come to the border. The party needs everybody. But if some people now says that they are the kingmaker, I know a national chairman also know that Edo State is very significant to the party. And it will also allow crisis in this place. So the issue will be resolved. Right. The joy is that we have internal issue. We don't have problem with the voters. All right. Uh, the street. How is it? We, 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 we how is it? How is it? The question is still hanging. But we'll come back to that question okay. after this break. We'll be right back. TMI. Every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's all about the build up to Edo 2020 preparations of political parties. Dennis Osadebe Avenue. That is what is on board right now. The race either to retain it or reclaim it, so to speak. Mind you, you can view this interview on our social media platform youtube at www.youtube.com forward slash itv radio ng you click on the videos or current affairs program they are there on star time channel 130 go tv channel 107 even you can have us in your cab yeah your smartphone just log on to www.youtube.com I to on Nigeria forward slash live. You get to view us in our live stream. These are what we've done to make sure you have contact, continuous contact with ITV Radio. You can chat with me on my Twitter handle at Marshall Wilson. Harrison, the <coughs> question is hanging, but I'll come back to you. You want to react to some of the comments being made by your co discourses you have your turn but please stop interjecting <laughs> okay interject. please i would love to start from this wonderful question my brother has that all the loopholes all the money that we're getting we've never had complaint that allocation of income what is the money being used for that was his question and i also came back and said on on your phone that you log in when you are in the classroom these are black lies my village everyg in Eastern Notice, we only have four, three classrooms. Primary one and primary two, they sit down in the same classroom. The, uh, primary one faces this side, primary two faces this side. The same, the same achievement, the only achievement they saying the government have achieved. There is no classroom, nothing is happening there. No, he didn't that's what he hammered on. Yeah, the only time you see the government TV, he talks about that. When he goes abroad, that's what he says. There is no classroom, nothing is happening. The whole of them, we only have two physics teachers. In the whole local government in secondary school. Every, every secondary school is there. 
uh, 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 we have more than 10 secondary schools where we have two physics teachers. One can, so, for example, I'm in a region and I want to be an architect. That means my dream has been shattered because there's nobody that will take me through the rudiment of science. That's what it means. So, let's leave that. On the issue of road, uh, this state is terrible. Go to that ADP road. I don't know what politics they are playing there. The road is something else. If you drive your car through there twice, don't the road beside ADP. That car will not look to, uh, to even get to the mechanic to be fixed. The road is terrible. And that is the local oh, government. Is that, the is the lo no, that is the local government of the government. Over there, you have such a terrible road. The road that they are doing that people are even come, that are saying, okay, at least there is even road being done. After one year, you see potholes on the road. The inches of the tire is less than half inch. We can't be celebrating mediocrity, for God's sake. This is Nigeria, money is going to come, and money should be used judiciously. Instead of fighting yourself, why don't you do what the other people want? You can't drive through the street of Berlin. Emotion everywhere. My car got stop a TV road. Water entered the tank. With fair, miss up with fair. We are also in spillage everywhere. The fourth control, 30 billion was expended on this. The governor had not said anything about it. He was part of that committee. I was in the administration. 30 billion to control this fraud. And nothing is happening in a district. And we are talking about the, the electorate one thing. Who says that? That what you are fighting is just the Tana party that the electorate will vote for you. Where? Yeah. It is a district. Okay, the people are tired. The and and people are tired and they want the PDP back. That is the truth. Nothing is working. <laughs> and Bosali investing no problem, no single government in <laughs> There is no hostels being built okay. apart from a uh, third firm that you see working in the state university. What is happening in the headset of go to general hospital in the world? There is no light. Person they use lantern at night. No water. They go out of this very kind of fresh water. For a sick patient. How many daughters do you have in the United States? Less than 10 government daughters. And we are talking about the government performing. That's only what? But you don't put less, than 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 less than 10 because they can take you up on that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Have yeah. I have statistics. Yeah. Yeah. I have statistics. You don't have proof of that. Let me come to you, James. You've been smiling. Please, gentlemen, you have to watch your emotions. Don't say something you cannot substantiate. This goes to all of you. All of you. Now, James. Uh, thank you, my brother Winston. I want to appeal to my co discussant that uh, we should not interject uh, ourselves so that the listener can hear us better. Uh, my friend from the PDP, as a party man, he can never say any good thing about this government, this APC government. And that is the way of Africa politics, which is wrong. You get it? Yes, we are not in the state we expect to be at this time, but we are moving. What we are moving uh, in that uh, respect. The question you ask, Honorable uh, uh, Alison, about the suspended chairman, which have been fed in a party or whatever, and uh, I'm sure it's keep that very question and uh, it went on. You can answer it. It's what uh, uh, it stop interjecting. <laughs> <laughs> and it went on. As a, uh, I will speak as a party man. It is not a good policy or a good thing to our party at this point in time when we have crisis now suspended because those who are suspending have their people, have their, their, their followers and, 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 and all. I believe in forms of inclusion. Bring them, let them know your whatever and uh, uh, dialogue in that aspect. So I think the state governor and uh, the state uh, of the party will look into it and uh, call them back uh, uh, on time across the local government because it's not a good thing. Uh, uh, because it, it's only dividing the party strength and law. On the issue of my brother talking about less than 10 daughters, that is not correct uh, 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 at all. Stella of Bassett Hospital alone, just one hospital alone, have more than 10 daughters there. 
I'm coming I, as if, if I'm giving time to show names. Uh, uh, okay, now, the department uh, there are more than 10. Central of, of hospital department there are more than 10. Are you saying that, uh, uh, like uh, uh, the optometry node or there, or you are saying that uh, 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 the ophthalmology or whatever no doctor? So just can the department, there must be a, a, a doctor. Uh, then, wow, so, wow, and, uh, are, you, again, are you saying that those uh, persons that attend to patients, uh, 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 I know nurses, I know science uh, technician uh, 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 and uh, doctors. Uh, are you saying that they are mechanic or they are furniture maker? Now you are attending to patients? You no, know, sometimes when we try to finish uh, to let us be realistic uh, uh, in the whole. And in every local government, you must have one uh, doctor in a go. I know the, the, uh, the doctor in a go. In Ovia, I know the doctor in a because uh, uh, my sister is, is in Ovia notice uh, also. So, and let us be if a part of a day. Hey, but you, school, you uh, make sure that in your village, no teacher, whatever, whatever. I think I'm not saying the government is hundred percent in that, but he has taken a departure from where we uh, were before. And I think as time goes on, the governor will be able to fix all this. Uh, uh, I'm sure that this uh, channel now, the the question for the question. We get to know and so uh, uh, about it uh, also let us not forget that a system that was destroyed for 16 years building it takes time you know that to destroy is easier than to build so the government is actually doing his best all right his best might not be good to, to the pdp but the masses they are aware that we are moving okay somewhere i'll come back to you james now it's like parties the Hercules in this competition, so to speak, they have issues. Though they may want to paint it one way or the other, the issues are on the ground. Why do you think my political parties aren't cashing in on this? Happens. Um, the, you know, like I said in the beginning, everything that's playing out now is expected. It's normal. It's just natural, but we will keep uh, cautioning that let's not take matters beyond the, uh, the bounds. We are actually just having the problem of politics of desperation. Desperation? Desperation, yes. I must grab it, I must get it, both internally and externally, within the parties and inter-parties. This is the problem we are having. And that's why the powers are puzzling. Who fixes what? And who fixes who? But if you can allow the ground for plain, transparent politics, we are hoping for nothing but the best. It's true there is mediocrity. We are pushing it's not only in politics, all over. You are pushing merit aside and you are, you are establishing, you are uh, supporting the idea of whom you know to become whom you will become. Not what you can do to become what you will become. It's killing the society. So, I, you know, we can't just be 100% uh, negative about what is happening. Governor is here. Yes, I, I agree to that because Christ come and this Christ are many. So you have to filter which one do I deal with first and which one should be kept last. I will just cite, for example, I remember a time when the Muslims complained that the children in the school Muslim children are not opportune to learn Islamic studies. And uh, the, the, it was taken to the hearing of the governor, and I know I'm aware that the door for Muslim applicants, teachers, to apply was opened. And I know that they were employed. Havish? Yes. Now. So, on one hand, you ask the question, was the money being used for the second hand? You're saying it's used for this? 
Yeah, I don't that was the point I'm making, that yeah. we can't be 100% negative negative oh, about right. the government. All right. Yeah, the fact that there is something being done mm. should not close your eyes at the fact that there are some other things that we are distorted. Okay. What is happening? Why okay. is nothing being done in this area? Right. So we are applauding and we are at the same time trying to say we need to wake up more. And the question is still hanging. Yes. Why are others not taking advantage of this? Let me tell the question to Harrison. I'll come back to you. Okay. All right. but you have crisis everywhere. How come other political parties are not taking advantage of the crisis in APC and, of course, PDP? The two giants in the state. Uh, what, 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 what is happening is in Canada. I don't think there's anything they should take advantage of. The election is not yet uh, closed. And make have not declared timetable for election. So there is nothing they are going to take advantage of. It's just that the people are even having issues with the APC today. APC wrote within the, their brain, the, their vein, let me quote Tony Kabaka. They are not ready to leave the party. So if anybody is thinking that uh, they will decap and come and join them, it's an exercise of futility. They are not ready to leave. It is expected. Every election, you things like this will happen. When Oshomola was selling Obasake to a do people, the same issue arose. There were issues everywhere. And the man told us that this is the best man for the world, that he can fight for the man, he will swear. And everybody picked the man. I know that the man have entered and is doing well. He's, he, in fact, he will tell us pass up on the things his, his boss did there. I think we should applaud him. So the, 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 they cannot take advantage of anything. The issue is that this problem will result. Right. And when it's result, everybody will work together. All right. The only thing I want to say, you don't even have opportunity again, is that there's no vacancy in the Arabia Avenue. So that is your own opinion. 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 Your own are trying to create fashion where there is no fashion. So I shouldn't waste my time talking about that. Mm. What we should be talking about is what have the present government done for Edo people? And that is what the PDP is going to capitalize on in winning the election. We can't celebrate of standard road. Never. We cannot celebrate lack of health care. Let me give you a story. Last two years we were coming from a wedding in a better state. We were driving and a car, a truck, because of petrol everywhere in the world, swerved. And the, my guy that was driving beside him also swerved, and the car so assaulted. And the guy injured his hand. The first call was to rush into Stella Bass and go, the same place he said they will let the doctor. You know, they said, no, 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 we got medical attention. And before God, it was already too late. The young man lost his hand. And we are here celebrating mediocrity. And it's annoying. For somebody to sit down and tell me that the government is working, let's stop bootlicking politicians. If PDP comes in 2020 and they are not working, we hope they will be here to also condemn that government. Thank this you. is top mediocrity in Nigeria. That's Thank the you. problem. We are suffering as youth. We celebrate leaders that are not there to be found. People that have not done well, we come to bootlick them. This is wrong. And we should be talking about our generation to come. All right. We should set precedents so that our children will have good country to also thank enjoy. You, thank look you, thank the, you. Look at the countries that we run, uh, we run, uh, we run to. These things were done by people that decided to be selfless. They wanted good for their nation, and they fought for it. Thank that you. is what I want all of us to decide to be. And let me move like that. Thank Just you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm. you so, so much, Teros. Thank you so, so much. Uh, James, you have 30 seconds to summarize. You're going to advise right now because our time is completely up. Totally up. 30 seconds, please. Yeah. I want to speak as a party man. My friend from the PDP is trying to console himself that you crisis in their party. What is wrong with, uh, with crisis in PDP? No, uh, what is wrong with crisis? There is no crisis in PDP. <laughs> there is no crisis in PDP. Let him talk. No. Uh, the, the PDP will pray and work hard to survive their Congress, mm -hmm. not even the May election. The and the fight for the election, the May election, is between the APC aspirant 
anyone that emerged, if the governor emerged as a candidate, uh, is the Dundee. If anybody emerged, is the Dundee, not uh, a PDP. Right. Thank, yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Have his place. 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, we, if a party eternal member says this is what we have, just take it. And then um, we are going there. We just appeal to ourselves that let's be very, very highly disciplined in conducting ourselves as we work for the primaries and Congress. as we go Congress. for the, for the Congress. election. Congress. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. I know you have so much to say about our time. Ah, is up. And that's it for all of us in the studio. Is a build up to a 2020. Let's see what is going to happen. Look at them shaking hands. They are all friends. All this talk and all that. We are all a dope people. Tomorrow, Sanjay Kukosi will be around to continue with the week's edition of this morning on ITV. From all of us here in the studio, is bye for now.